on with oh ha <laughs> on with the video. Hi my little star kitties. Here's my little kitty. Here's my little kitty. This is my little kitty. And I am guys chat 13. Hit that subscribe button. Make it turn I guess gray. Hit that like button and make it turn blue. What hashtag blue is my favorite color. Today's sponsor is Fancy Feast. It's my cat. Oh my cat loves it. Yeah, mom? No. Hold on. <clears throat> my cat seriously loves Fancy Feast. She can't stop eating it. It's going to see you when the ball is happy. It's not like that one. She was at an animal shelter. She was really upgoing and happy, and we got to play with her, and we decided she was just the perfect cat. So that day, we took her happily out of the pen, her, and got her everything she needed, like a collar, a collar, and it was, and it was, Perfect. Me? Yeah. Oh. And we and you love every single thing that, that we have. That we got for her. Is, it, is that why she acted so crazy? She was our Had her hatred and revenge for me driven her insane? And then I started to fear for the future. Yeah. What about when she was released from prison? What if her time spent it? And then Okay, that's on I I keep getting really good foods and I've had food for her ever since I was three, which is a long time because I'm eight right now. And now on to my second pet. My second pet was my my snake sis. We saw it. At this reptile, at this reptile place, and we decided she was just perfect. She was a beautiful cat. She was a beautiful snake, and I just wanted a snake so bad because we thought snakes would look pretty cool. And. I really loved her, and she's just my pet. She's just an amazing pet. She doesn't even bite. She only bites when she's hungry. But she's a boa constrictor, so she could only kill me if, if she um, constricted me. If you don't know what constricted me, um, is it. The snake squeezes the prey until it dies. So yeah. My third and last pet. I'm getting a new pet and it's going to be a turtle. But first we have to find out the perfect place for it. Because it has to be like a really, really big cage. And my desk isn't that long. So yeah. 
and I don't have a big nightstand. Maybe up there would be good for my show, but we have a TV up there, and I don't know what to do, so yeah. Let me come over what table I should get. I might just get like a long wise table. Oh wait, no. The long wise cages are for like snakes and lizards. Man. I guess I'll get like, I'm gonna get like one of these turtles, like that small. That wide and small of a turtle. And, okay. Okay, my third Oreo, my little doggy dude, eating all the dog food. Everything is better with you. He, we got him because nobody wanted him. He was in a litter, and this guy walked into my mom's coffee shop. And... It's called Happy People Coffee Company, and he came in with Oreo, and asked her if she wanted to have, if she wanted to take Oreo. His actual name is Venom. His first ever name was Venom, but we decided not to name him Venom. Okay, back to Oreo's story and how we got him. And he walked in, he was a normal, he was a regular, and he asked my mom if he wanted to have Oreo, I mean Venom, and and he, my mom said, of course, my mom said it would be perfect for me, and that day I was at I was at my grandma's house and she called me to her car and I remember looking in the front seat and I just saw Oreo. I would, my heart melted for having a dog and I love him for as long as he lives. Oreo will always be my puppy, my special dog. And his first name was Venom, but we named him Oreo because he looked like an Oreo because he's black and white. And he was just a perfect dog for us. Oreo's really fun and playful, and right now he's eight years old. I mean, he's actually seven. He's seven years old when you're younger than me. But that's in human years, and in dog years, he is a teen. So, yeah. It was... It was an experiment, experience for getting pets. But I'll see you in the next video. Bye!